Yeah, Jake and Carol, so far there are still no answers. Tom's father told supporters who gathered here outside of Rosie's tonight that their efforts are working, that police are getting calls and tips from the flyers they are handing out, and that as a family, they are holding on to hope. As darkness claims another day without any sign of Tom Hecht, emotions are high for family and friends who spent the day searching. Tom's dad thanked them during a vigil outside Rosie's, the Water Street Bar is where Tom was last seen Saturday night after a pub crawl with friends. This just means the world to Tom to know he has the support right now from all of you. So he's been handing out his maps. Earlier Tuesday, the group again canvassed neighborhoods, sidewalks, and streets Tom may have walked. People from both out of town and out of state joined the effort. Terry Fargen and his wife drove from Madison. Tom is a groomsman in their daughter's wedding this summer. We want to just do whatever we can to help. Milwaukee police used sonar to scan the river bottom, and divers were also in the water. But by day's end, no word of any developments. This is a nightmare uh, that anyone who's a parent and is hearing this can only wouldn't want to trade places with me. Now, well, recapping the day, Tom's father remained positive here tonight. He says they will head back out tomorrow. They're going to refine some of the maps they're using to search, and as they have each day, they ended in prayer. On your side, live in downtown Milwaukee, Keller Russell, today's TMJ4. Yeah, very difficult time. Thank you, Keller.